Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. Now, Sagittarius, this is your general love reading, so bear in mind the roles can always be reversed. So feel free to flip them over, take only what resonates and apply to your unique and very personal situation. And whatever does not resonate, just toss it to the side, Sagittarius. So let's get straight into it. Let's dive straight in. I will clear the deck for you. And we are going to be focusing, actually, put it this way, that's better. We are going to be uh, focusing on your person of interest, especially getting into the nitty gritty, you could say, of their true intentions, their true thoughts and their true feelings about you. Whether you are in connection or not, I usually find out pretty early um, if you are talking to your person or not, um, even if it's on and off, but I do want to see from their perspective. So if you're a little bit, you know, maybe something's not adding up with this person or if you think maybe they're a little bit unsure about you, for the next coming weeks, I do want to find out, as I said, their intentions, true intentions, their desires, their fears, thoughts, and feelings about you, Sagittarius. Ooh, all right, we've got a highlighted card there already. Let's see. So highlighted cards, or I call them sometimes dominant messages, they do bear a lot of weight, only because it's like we need to be on our own and I need to tell Sagittarius one important message. So here we go. Sagittarius, please. One more. Perfect. Oops, there we go. I'll also be uploading some bonus, um, uh, sorry, bonus readings very soon in the next short week. So definitely keep a lookout for that. Ooh, all right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces as a highlighted message here. Male or female does not matter. What matters is the energy that I pull out of this is the Queen of Cups. We literally have someone ready. They're preparing themselves to offer you here metaphorically their cup of love full of emotions here uh, what i really like is that how is this person seeing you they're looking at the cup they're contemplating about you sagittarius filled with love backed by emotions they're seeing you as like someone intuitive an empath um someone that is caring nurturing the queen of cups is often represented as well someone that could be like a nurse someone that is a giver, a mother. Basically, you are a shoulder to cry on. You're definitely not a pushover, but uh, definitely this person is seeing you as someone that they would love to commit to, explore their feelings. There is a lot of emotions. If not, I'm going to say it, this person absolutely adores you. This person loves you. And also, Sagittarius, I do, I got a side message because this is always about listening to your intuition. What is your gut telling you? Um, but now I think you're focusing on self-care. Now you really know what self-care is. It's focusing on yourself. It's listening to your body, listening to your intuition, your feelings, because they're real and they're valid. Um, but definitely your person is, I'm seeing the word definitely a lot. It's only because it's really like there. Um, it's really solidified the message that they're seeing you as someone they would love to explore their feelings with even more, even deeper. There is always a but, right? We've got the Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. Okay, so we do have issues here, perhaps, of trust. And I'm wondering, though, like, Sagittarius, with this one person that is on your mind, how much do you trust them? Do you trust them with your life? I'm going to say, at the moment, probably, uh -uh, no. Yes and no. It depends. <laughs> it depends what day I ask you. Sometimes this is often linked here to lying, cheating, stealing, being strategic, sneaky, doing something here behind your back in the middle of the night. Or perhaps this could actually indicate they've done something where everyone knows. And unfortunately, Sagittarius, you're the last person to find out. This could also mean that your person could be lying to themselves in denial about these strong feelings that they have for you. But they're still preparing. It's like, look at that. They're tending to the cup of emotions, saying, I'm going to express this here to uh, Sagittarius, though. Mm. So let's, I will definitely explore those issues of trust that perhaps has happened um, between you and this person. We've got the Four of Wands. Aries energy, it's a very strong card for twin flame energy, also represents reconciliation, commitment, marriage. Um, yeah, coming together, celebrating, moving houses, changing jobs here. Oh, oh my God. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords, the fastest moving knight in the entire deck, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got someone that is rushing in. This is definitely a person I've noticed straight away when this card overturned is that you have your perfect match here. Look at that. We've got the King and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So it is fair to say that both of you are on the same page. The love is there. 
You both want each other, almost looking at each other, but you're looking down. Let's see what's going to happen here. Hmm. Yeah, so this person's going to be reaching out to you. They're going to come with the truth about something. But this is where it gets a little bit... Um, mm, we've got two queens, the queen of pentacles, two of cups. Look at that. You've a uh, third party situation here. So we've got illumination coming in. You've got your ideal match with the two of cups, um, cancer energy. But it seems here yeah, you may have been in a third party. And I didn't want to say it straight away, but then I saw we've got, you know, obviously healing after that three of swords. There's a lot of healing because you are your ideal match. I feel what's happening here is that your person is coming back to heal this. They want to be direct with you with that Knight of Swords. Clearly, your person did put you in a third party. Now, yes, that could be infidelity. Um, it just could be a meddling family member, friend, or co-worker. Um, they're coming to reconcile, though. Yeah. Mm, two queens. I don't like seeing that in a spread, especially the Queen of Pentacles. This can represent perhaps someone that is um, committed or married here to someone else. So let's get to your main reading. What do we have? The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. Oh, okay. So it seems here perhaps both of you may maybe seeing each seeing you know each other um, as 100% single. I'm definitely seeing also here Sagittarius that um, you may be self-employed or think, thinking of becoming self-employed. Clearly, how your person is seeing you is someone in high regard, very um, successful, very accomplished. Here, it is the Minor Arcana of the Empress, very individual and very resourceful here as well, though. This could also be an indication that your person doesn't want you to be single anymore, though. And I will be clarifying um, these cards here as well. What else do we have? We've got the King of Wands. We've got a lot of people around this um, energy. So that's very strong. Leo could also be a, f a fellow Sagittarius um, or Aries. So we're getting a lot of people here. We've got the King of Wands, the King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the um, Queen of Cups here. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of grown-up energy here. <clears throat> I'm not really getting at the moment that this is someone else. I'm really getting your person is embodying this energy of taking action towards you. Again, we've got this king looking to the past. This is someone that realized I've got to be a go again. I have to go now and I really have to face the music. I have to face Sagittarius. Seven of Wands, Leo energy. You're a little bit in defensive mode. Not on purpose. It's one well, that's a more protective mode here, Sagittarius. Your uh, boundaries are very, very tight and you're very discerning, very strict who you allow to re-enter your circle, um, who you even talk to. This is you being assertive. You're standing your ground, you're standing your position, you're defending yourself. Um, and I feel here that perhaps you will hear this person, but on your own terms and at a distance here as well. This person may be actually fighting for you, or at least fighting to get the communication across with that Knight of Swords though. Mm, five of Swords, Aquarius energy. It is pretty apparent here that this relationship, and I think your person is recognizing this, that it was very one-sided. They may have been breadcrumbing you for a very long time. It could have been empty promises here. Stuff they said they would do, but they never did. This can also represent less than desirable people around your person, such as this third party, just negatively influencing your person. Like, do this to Sagittarius. Why are you with Sagittarius? You could be off on your own and doing this or be with me. And they listen to it. Um, so it's very catty energy, lots of gossip here, lots of conflict here. So in the middle, what do we have? The beating heart of the reading, which is the mutual energies, is justice ruled by Libra. I love that the scales here are balanced. This also comes with an apology um, and the truth will be revealed. It is literally your person wishing to balance the scales. So make up for lost time, lost love, earn your um, trust and respect back because clearly they're seeing you in this protective mode, like saying, you know, don't get too close to me. I'll hear you out, but do not cross this wall. Um, so yeah, this can also indicate formal separations, divorce. It was either between you and this person or it is with um, your person and this third party here as well. But yeah, the justice always says yes. It's a yes card. It's a very positive card on its own. I do feel that something very unjust, unruly happened to you. It wasn't fair. That's why they're coming back to balance the scales and the truth will be revealed always. Nothing will be hidden. So what do they want? Yeah, their intentions is the Ace of Wands. They want a passionate new start here. And they're hoping, crossing their fingers, that you're going to lower that wand and be just as excited about it. But I feel like they're going to hit a wall with you, um, Sagittarius, because I do see that you're in protective mode. There's nothing wrong with that because you don't want to get hurt again. Um, but let's see, let's continue. Yeah, they're going to offer you the Ace of Swords, Clarity. Drop all those swords, the Five of Swords. Drop those Seven of Swords here. Actually, I'm just going to put the camera back. I hate... There we go. I don't, whoops, I don't really like crossing out, um, cutting off any 
just make sure the camera doesn't fall. I don't like cutting out, um, you know, any cards. Anyway, <clears throat> we are getting the truth. The Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got all the fire signs here. This is a mental breakthrough. It is cutting through all the illusions of the five and the seven of swords. Um, it's any negativity, all those arguments, conflicts. If there's a question mark, lack of closure, you are getting all of it. In fact, what I do like is that both of these aces show that the outcome will be very, very successful here as well. So they do want to start on a clean slate and not repeat the same mistakes from the past though. So what's in the near future? What do they want with you? The Hierophant, major for Taurus. This is my commitment card. It's also my marriage card. It's recommitting to you and definitely because it's underneath the justice card. Wow. I'm wondering, you know, it's almost like it, the way you are here, it's like you feel like they have no right to, but I do see that you will be hearing them out. Now it seems like you will be on the same page. I definitely saw that there was an imbalance in the past. Um, now this person, even though they may be, you know, flexible, they um, may think outside the box, they may be free spirited, loves to travel. But when it comes to you, they want to do right by you. They want to go down the traditional route, no shortcuts. Just do something right by you, do something traditional. But I am seeing here that when they come back, they're crossing their fingers that they will be here to stay. Mm, that's very interesting. So what do we have in the outcome? What are they prepared to do? Is the Eight of Pentacles Virgo Energy. So this is literally your person now. They want to work on this commitment. They're going to make it very clear to you. That's what's going to happen. They're prepared to put in the hard work, the effort, the love, the loyalty, the hours, basically everything we don't have to lift a finger. Um, and of course, you know, crossing the fingers that you're going to say, yes, we well, both meet in the middle and you both equally work on this. Oh, very interesting though, isn't it? Yeah, I was curious. I looked again one more. We have the Ten of Pentacles, more Virgo energy. I think they want it all with you. And to have it all with you, they're going to have to work their butts off here. Yeah, and that's more to earn your trust, your love, your respect back. They're going to have to really work at it though. Ooh. I'm also getting there could have been that one action that your person did, that one argument, something that your person did. It's like that was like the final tipping point you could say it, until yeah see they want to heal this there you are Sagittarius temperance energy one day at a time be patient so they, they it's almost like an accumulation of something and then they did that one deed or that one word they said to you and that caused the uh, um, that separation it was something very unjust very unruly that happened to you this was definitely one-sided and now they're recognizing that they needed a lot of growing up to do they have done it though because I'm seeing a lot of you know grown-up energy but um, hmm, let's see I don't want to talk too much until I clarify these cards bottom of the deck there's that nine of pentacles again we're getting it twice so you are definitely mirroring each other to some degree um, I, it's almost like your person is considering themselves also single. So whether you're aware of it or not, this can definitely indicate a formal separation or divorce. And it's like, yep, I'm single, but I really, really want to commit now to Sagittarius though. But I'm not getting any impulsive energy. I think they've really been thinking about this though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, we've got the Emperor. This is Aries energy. It is the divine masculine. It is all the kings here wrapped up into one. I'm um, definitely your person here could be really, really focusing here on their own business. Um, on the coin, you know, the finances expanding. It is a very abundant card. I'm seeing here both of you are very good with business. You both have a very good shoulder, uh, head on your shoulders here. Um, that could be just some distraction, but there's, there, def there is a lot of conflict going on around your person. There definitely could have been competition for their attention here in the past. The Five of Wands Leo energy is all about you know, conflict, arguments, finger pointing. How could you have done this? I did this. So they know, they're very aware, and it's a very unfortunate then they know that, that things ended on a very sour note, um, which is why the high priestess, Pisces energy, their intuition is saying, this is not over. You need to reconcile with Sagittarius. You've got unfinished business here because there's that 10 of pentacles. If you want it all with them, because we're getting it twice now. There we are. It was off camera. If they really want the 10 of pentacles with you, they're going to have to actually take action here and talk also about that third party. I feel like Sagittarius, you need answers, but solid answers. And you will get it with that ace of swords, though. Who was interfering? So whoever this third party is, it's going to be different for everyone. But Sagittarius, you know who this third party is. Um, and you know that they don't come with very good intentions. In fact, I just got the word jealousy. I just looked at it just there. Hmm. All right, the Nine of Pentacles is clarified here by the Six of Wands. Wow, okay, Leo energy. This is the card of personal victory here. 
whatever you're doing Sagittarius I'm seeing that you're going you are already very successful in other areas of your life so your finances of business are kind of seeping through this love reading so I'll definitely go with the flow here I don't want to ignore it this is public recognition it's awards it's laurels for all your hard work it's literally being on stage people put you putting you on a platform so no wonder your person is seeing you as someone very accomplished very successful independent and resourceful this is the thing though, they want to be part of that success with you. It's almost like they wish they could be there, cheer you on and put you on a platform. Um, that is definitely not overnight success. You've had to work your butt off, Sagittarius, and now your person wants to be successful with you as a team, but they're going to have to work for it. The King of Wands is clarified here by the Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy, and this is where the issue lies. This is why you're still in protective mode. We have issues of abandonment. Your person did something. Well, they said something they couldn't have done both all together on one day and it changed everything we have abandonment issues they left you feeling unloved they may have chosen or defended someone else over you and that led to this separation here um yes they're worried here that perhaps you will abandon them um you know because justice is always that karma will be served here um but yeah it's it's almost like they couldn't have just done a runner they couldn't have ghosted you it's like the ultimate rejection card here as well. Money couldn't have been lost and stolen, but they left you feeling extremely unloved and that's not nice. So let's clarify your energy is the Knight of Cups. Will you accept their apology? This night is all about messages, changes of the romantic kind. Again, we have someone here offering you their cup of love, metaphorically, that is offering you their emotions, the changes here. They want to re-spark this, bring romance back in, make you feel special. Um, the question is, will you accept it though? You know, are you going to put that wand down and, you know, you know, as I said, let bygones be bygones or at least just take it very slowly as temp, uh, sorry, as yeah, temperance does. Um, so I think you're on the fence about this, though. There's been a lot of hurt. There's been a lot of pain here. You've had to pick up the pieces on your own. So I don't know if you're willing yet to actually offer maybe their apology, but let's see. We've got the five of swords is clarified by the king of pentacles. Very interesting. Now we've got the perfect match. I'm seeing that you have the King and the Queen of Cups. Now you've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles though. So your person here, um, I'm, I'm kind of already seeing here, they were either committed or married to someone else. This could have happened also behind your back. Um, and also with that Five of Swords, yeah, I think they're recognizing within this relationship that was supposed to be stable and committed to one another. It was very one-sided here. But yeah, I'm kind of seeing also they're trying to build up their finances here. Um, and it's a very bittersweet because you keep coming across as your perfect match, but they didn't recognize it. And did they take advantage of you? Yes. Were they breadcrumbing you? Yes. Um, and they probably thought that you would always be there, you know, even chasing after them, but you're not a chaser here. Clearly we're seeing that they're going to be chasing after you though. Mm. This was someone definitely that was not ready to commit in the past and they weren't even willing to. And why? Because we have these less than desirable people around your person. And unfortunately, your person didn't honor the connection. They didn't actually just protect this connection or protect you. The justice here is clarified by the fool. Major therefore Aries. So this is definitely your person here. They want to settle this once and for all with you. Um, the fool here is definitely, I mean, they could also be at a distance. Doesn't have to be. This is about reclaiming the innocence of this connection once more. So if you remember the first time you met, going through the honeymoon phase, you know, butterflies in their stomach, it's about brand new beginnings. It is a very risky decision because they, they are very aware of what they've done to you, that they bailed out, nowhere to be seen. Um, and now they're coming back here and it's a risky decision. They have no problem though saying it's a risk I'm willing to take for Sagittarius. Clarifying this brand new beginning here is the Seven of Swords again. So we do have issues that you do not trust this brand new beginning, it seems too good to be true. You're reluctant here to, you know, accept their cup, um, their cup of love, their apology here as well. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. And this is the thing, the more I get into this story, Sagittarius, the more I'm understanding your apprehension, that hesitancy that you have here. The Ace of Swords is clarified again by the Hierophant. So they're going to make it pretty clear here that they want to commit to you once more. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also getting that <clears throat> a lot of you are probably wondering, are they only coming back out of self-interest now that they're alone? They're lonely. Do, are they only coming back for that? So the Hierophant is clarified here by the Four of Cups. Yeah, they're melancholic right now. Um, they're missing you. In fact, I think here that a lot of you may be saying no or not yet. 
I don't want to respond to you. And yeah, I think because of their past actions, because it's like you're viewing them as very selfish. And yes, you know, the five of swords can be very selfish as well, is that this is a missed opportunity of committing to you because you, you may actually say no to this person. So honestly, I'm, I'm seeing that your person's quite bored without you. You offer that spark, that spontaneity, that adventure here that they can't find anywhere else though. Mm. Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles is the Knight of Swords again rushing in because I want to make this work. If really, if it was up to them, they would love to pick up the pieces and move this relationship really fast. But I think you're going to slam the brakes on them. And the Ten of Pentacles is the Five of Cups. So that is uh, Scorpio energy and it's major regret here. If anything, I do see Sagittarius, you actually may say no to this person. It may pain you, you may have a soft spot for them, um, but you're looking up for number one, which is you. And I think that is very, it's very smart. Oops, that's too much, but we, <laughs> we did see that death card. So yeah, it's almost like, yeah, they... <sighs> There's the eight. Look at that. We've got the eight of pentacles. I think you probably may anticipate it's too much work to keep this um, relationship alive. The nine of cups. Yeah, you are their wish fulfillment, though. They could be emotionally attached to you. More, please, for Sagittarius. More, please. Three of cups again there. Yeah, they want reunion with you. One more. Thank you. Yeah, there we are decisions 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 yeah i feel like you're on the fence about this so you know why has this come forward now i always say this is a heads up is to be aware that this is happening what i do like and we can already clearly see here that their intentions are not bad they're not bad i, I don't appreciate what they've done to you in the past that was very uncalled for it was very unfair and it was just all about me, me, me. And what about Sagittarius, you know? Um, but I'm really seeing here that you've, you're, there's a pretty hard time for you to um, actually make a decision. Um, yeah. I'm thinking here, you may actually have a hard time saying yes. You may actually reject this person and say no. It's almost like it's just too much work now. Um, even if this third party could be still lingering around, you're not up for that anymore. If anything, I think here that you may actually be focusing more on your career, your studies, your finances, because that's taking off. And if you feel that it hasn't, it's just a matter of time. Definitely within six months, we've got a huge breakthrough coming through. Um, you know, if you want that offer, you want that promotion, you want to be recognized, even across the world, it's definitely going to happen. That's no question, no doubt about it. And your person wants to share that success, but there is such a huge lack of trust here that you have for this person. Um, and you're seeing them differently because you've grown up during this time of separation. Um, I think you're more inclined to find your happiness somewhere else though, Sagittarius. And now your person, they're going to have to sit with this energy pretty much for the rest of their lives. Um, but if you do want to hear them out, because we do have communication here, if you're not certain yet, perhaps hear them out and then make that confident decision for yourself. But their intentions here is they want to recommit to you, not a hundred, but a thousand percent to you now. And they yes, they have learned their lessons. I mean, we're getting the 10 of pentacles twice, the three of cups twice. You've got your perfect match more than twice. Um, but I think here, what is the big barrier is trust. And they're really going to have to work for it. They're going to have to fight tooth and nail to earn it back, Sagittarius. I will leave this here. This is definitely what you can expect in the next coming weeks. Um, and yeah, I wish you wish you the very best. And I know you're just going to be very, very successful here. The talk of the town. Please take care, Sagittarius. Bye.